Each and every one of us in life, we're trying to portray an image. We're trying to show the world something. We want the world to see that we are strong, that we are brave, that we are fearless, that we're successful, that we can do anything. We want the world to see that we have a lot of money, that we have a lot of pride, that we're not weak, that we're an alpha male or an alpha female, that we're gonna come in first and never last. Status, wealth, power, all of these things are uh, objects that the world tells us, if you have, you can get anything you want. You can have all the women you want or the men you want. You can have whatever job you want. If you achieve this, then the world will celebrate you as a person. We are trying to put forth an image and show that we're strong. Even many Christians today, pastors, preachers, evangelists are standing behind pulpits trying to show that they are tough. But the truth is this, we are all weak. Inside of us, we all have an inner child. We all have wounds in our soul. We all have weaknesses. We have gaps and spaces that have been unmet when we were a child. There was something that we needed and someone in our lives that we loved were not there for us. And they failed us in some way. We carry these wounds, we carry these pains, we carry these regrets and the shame and the guilt. We're trying to pacify the hurt inside of us with other things in life. We think if I just become successful enough then all of this will go away. We think that if I just make enough money or I have a big enough house or if I have all the latest gadgets and tech, then maybe I'm going to find a resemblance of peace. I'm going to find myself now content with where I am in life. But my friends, I want you to understand that there's a reason why rich people, celebrities, actors, people who are celebrated in our culture and socially on social media and the media, there's a reason why they kill themselves. There's a reason why celebrities have put a rope around their neck or pumped their bloodstream full of drugs. There's a reason why people who have been very successful and had a lot of money wanted to end their life. I want you to know something. Image, it means nothing. It's so very fragile, can be broken so easily. I want you to see that there is only one image that we need to reflect in life. There's three questions we need to ask ourselves. What image am I presenting? What testimony am I, am I giving? And who's getting the glory? If you're reflecting any other image but Christ, then you need to repent. If you're showing anyone else but the image of Christ, you need to repent. If anyone else is getting the glory, if you're telling any kind of testimony that's not leading and pointing to Jesus, you need to repent. We do all sorts of things in life. We get tattoos on our arms. We mark our bodies. We hide behind things so that the world will see something else. But I want you to understand that if you show weakness, the world will see Jesus because they'll see where you came from and now where you are and none of this other stuff will matter. The Bible says we must take up the cross and follow Jesus. Where did he go? He went to the top of Calvary and he was hung on that cross and he died for our sins and he was raised from the dead on the third day. The certificate of debt for everything that we've ever done was nailed to the cross with him and by his body being shattered, the curse upon our flesh was broken. Now we can be raised in newness of life. We can have new life with Christ. But that new life must reflect the glory of God and not us. We have to lay aside the weight of sin that so easily besets us. We have to put down the pride, the self-will, the rebellion. We hide behind pride because secretly we're insecure. My friends, there is security in Christ. You can know that you belong to him. You can sit at the table of the king and dine with him. You're no longer an orphan out on the streets scrambling for scraps. You have been brought into the kingdom of God to be a kingdom citizen, an heir and joint heir, a son and daughter of the living God. You can partake in all things that have been given to Christ, but you also are going to partake in his suffering. You're going to partake in hard times and difficult circumstances, but he will get you through it. He will give you strength in time of need. He will sustain you through those days and you'll see that nothing can defeat you.